Whichever language you work in, you always have to at some point work with dates and times. And sometimes these can be a little bit frustrating. There's a lot going on with dates and times. And really, we just want a solution to be able to work with them very easily. So in this part of the PHP Essentials series, we're going to be looking at the date time class, which is built into PHP for us. So we don't need to install anything. We don't need to set anything up. As long as you're using PHP version 5.2 or greater, then you can start to use this. So this is a class. So it's an object oriented concept. It works exactly as you would expect. If you are not familiar with object oriented programming, don't worry at all. We are going to go through how to use this. And if you're still working with procedural code, that's absolutely fine. You can still integrate this into your project. So essentially what the date time class is, is a class that allows you to work with dates. You can create new dates. You can modify existing dates. You can work with date intervals, which involves some other classes. And we're going to be covering this uh, in this part of the series. So we're going to start out this video just by playing around with this. We're going to create a new date time instance and we're going to see exactly what we get from this. So head over to your text editor, make sure you're using PHP 5.2 or greater, like I said. You can either find this out from the terminal by doing php-v, or you can use PHP info within a file, come over to your browser, and you'll see your version number just up here. Okay, so to start with then, we would normally just assign to a variable a new, because this is a class, date time. And this will create an object for us. So we're going to take a look at what we have in here. And to do this, we can use var dump. If you've not used var dump before, this is pretty straightforward. It will just dump the contents of a variable. So if we refresh, you can see here we get an object now. This is obviously a date time object. And we have three properties just in here. So the first one by default is the current date and time. So it's currently uh, 943. If I go ahead and refresh that, you can see that the seconds have just updated there. So this is the date. It's a string here, but we can actually manipulate this. And we're going to be looking at this throughout the series. We have a time zone type as well. And then we have a time zone. So at the moment, this is by default UTC, but we are going to cover how we change time zones because that's pretty important depending on your application. You may need to change the time zone to be a local time zone or even allow the user to choose their own time zone. So in a nutshell, that is pretty much date time. That's as simple as it gets. From this, we can start formatting dates, we can start modifying dates, and that is exactly what we're going to cover in this series. So now that you know what date time is, let's move on and start to look at some other things that we can do with this just to make your life a lot easier when you're working with dates and times.